Hello students, welcome back. So now let's discuss some section C questions. You guys will be having two section C questions each worth 20 marks for your PM exams. And areas tested in section C can be from decision making techniques, budgeting, performance measurements. The questions can be from any of these topics. But most commonly on analysis of the past papers, we can identify that Standard costing or variance analysis is one of the most commonly tested topic and for that purpose we are going to discuss a variance analysis question right now. If there is a variance analysis question in your essay question that will probably be to calculate material mix and yield variance or to calculate planning and operational variances. So all of you should have a thorough knowledge on these areas. Okay. So now let's move into reading the question and requirement, reading the requirement. Required, calculate the following variances for the last month. The material usage variance for each ingredient and in total. Please do make a note of that. We have to calculate material usage variance for each ingredient and the total of that. Then total mix variance, total yield variance. These are the requirements 4 plus 4 plus 3, it is of 11 marks. Uh, once you completed this, you are already scored more than 50% of this. Okay. Now let's read the question. Kappa company produces omega, an animal feed made by mixing and heating three ingredients alpha, beta, gamma. Alpha, beta, gamma, these three ingredients we are mixing up, and on heating this, we get the product of omega, which is an animal feed. The company uses a standard costing system to monitor its cost. So these are the some details are given here. Uh, we are using 40 kilogram of alpha, 60 kilogram of beta and 20 kilogram of gamma. And in total, we are using 120 kilograms of these ingredients to produce to produce 100 kilogram of omega. 120 ingredients is the input and what is the output? 100 kilogram of omega is the output. Okay, so where is the 20? The 20 is a wastage. 120 input, the output is only 120 is wastage. We don't know much about it, we will read. Okay. The cost per cost of these three ingredients are given. Cost of alpha is 2, cost of beta is 5, cost of gamma is 1. Cost per 100 kilogram of omega, the total cost is also given. If we have been using 40 kilogram of alpha, the cost of alpha is 2, therefore the total cost is 80. And the total cost for beta will be 300 and the total cost for gamma is 20. In total, a cost of $400 will be incurred. Notes. The mixing and heating process is subject to a standard evaporation loss. Once we mix these ingredients, how much kilogram? 120 kilogram. If we mix up this and on heating this, there will be some evaporation loss and the 20 kilogram will be lost by them. Okay. We can only able to produce 100 kilogram as output. Okay. Now, alpha, beta and gamma are agricultural products. And their quality and price vary significantly from year to year. These are agriculture products. The quality of alpha in first year will not be the same as that of second year. It varies. And also the price also. It varies. Standard price are set at the average market price over the last five years. Standard prices. Which are the standard prices given here? This dollar two, dollar five, and dollar one. How did we arrive at these prices? We have just considered the average prices of these products for past 5 years and we arrive at 2, 5 and 1. Okay. Kappa company has a purchasing manager who is responsible for pricing and supplier contracts. The purchase manager is responsible for purchasing alpha, beta and gamma from various supplier at various prices. Okay. So whatever be the price, it's the sole responsibility of purchasing manager. We, these things have to be discussed in any of the theory areas which may be asked. Let us look into that later. Uh, the standard mix is set up by the finance department which is a standard mix. Which is a standard mix. If we are using 40 kilogram of alpha, we should use 60 kilogram of beta and we should use 20 kg of gamma. This is the mix. 4 is to 6 is to 2. 4 is to 6 is to 2 is the mix. And this mix has been set up by the finance department and that too before 5 years ago. At the time of product launch, when they launched the new product Omega, before 5 years, they set up this mix, 4 is to 6 is to 2. To produce 1 kilogram of Omega, 4 is to 6 is to 2 is the mix. To produce 100 kilogram of Omega, 
at that time too the mix is 4 raised to 6 raised to 2 okay last month 4600 kilogram of omega was produced using the following inputs for the last month 4600 kilogram this is the actual production actually we produce 4600 kilogram of omega okay and we have the cost here we have the inputs here alpha beta gamma and we use 2200 kilogram of alpha 2500 of beta and 920 kilograms of gamma so in total we use 5620 kilograms and the cost the cost has been slightly different 1.80 six dollars and one dollars this is the actual cost this is the budgeted cost the things change so obviously there is price variance but we have not been asked to calculate price variance so don't go behind this okay now what is the total cost also given it is 1988 is the total cost given now at the end of each month the production manager receives a standard cost operating statement from kappa company's performance manager see what is an operating statement operating statement is a statement which shows the difference between budgeted profit and actual profit and in this we will be describing not we the performance manager will be describing all the variances that happen to kappa company all labor favorable variances will be added and all adverse variances will be reduced to calculate to reach at the actual profit we have budgeted profit adding all favorable variances less all adverse variances we will be arriving at actual profit okay so the statement contains material price and usage variance labor rate and efficiency variances and overhead expenditure and efficiency variances for the previous months no commentary on the variances given just been mentioned but no explanation has been given and the production manager receives no other feedback on the efficiency of the omega's process okay the production manager is responsible for the efficiency right okay but he receives no feedback on this so our requirement is to calculate the first requirement the very first requirement is to calculate usage variances okay we only have 36 minutes to complete a question like this okay so on explanation on explaining things now it will obviously be taking more than 36 minutes but in exam time keep practicing you should be able to complete this question within 36 minutes okay uh, so moving into the first requirement material usage variances we have already learned about the material usage variances what is the formula for usage variances the formula for usage material usage variances so in within the bracket we should write standard quantity use minus actual quantity use what is the formula for price variance within the brackets it should be standard price minus actual price okay likewise here it is usage variance there is another name for usage variance it is quantity variance okay so how much is the difference in quantity we should be writing this in within the brackets so standard quantity minus actual quantity and this should be multiplied with standard price okay so sq here we have to identify sq aq and sp once we get this the answer is done okay and we have three products we have to identify each products variances separately alpha beta and gamma alpha beta and gamma okay so what is the standard quantity for alpha beta gamma is it given is it given standard quantity is it given yes or no standard quantity no is this the standard quantity this is the budgeted thing this is not the standard quantity always do remember what is the meaning of sq sq means standard quantity for actual production there is a continuation sq means standard quantity for actual production sq means standard quantity for actual production so we have to find out sq okay we only have sq for standard production standard quantity for standard production is given okay but standard quantity for actual production is not given we have to find out that standard quantity for actual production so moving into how much is the actual quantity produced last month 4600 kilogram of omega was produced last month 4600 kilogram of omega was produced so what we need is in case of alpha sorry in case of 
in case of alpha 4600 kilogram has been produced 4600 kilogram has been produced how much is the kilograms of alpha used for this particular production not actual i need standard okay earlier we find out that for calculating uh, for getting 100 kilogram of omega here in the question for getting 100 kilogram of omega we used 40 kilogram right for getting 100 kilogram of omega we use 40 kilograms here okay so for 100 kilograms of omega our plan the standard the budgeted was 40 kilograms of alpha is required to produce 100 kilogram of omega if that is the case to produce 4600 kilogram of omega we have to use we have to use how much of alpha how much of alpha that is sq that is standard quantity for actual production okay how will we identify this how will we calculate this we have already learned that simply do the cross multiplication okay 40 kilogram is required for making 100 kilogram so if 4600 kilogram have been made how much is how much should be the quantity used quantity of alpha used okay simply doing cross multiplication so we have to calculate x, x is equal to x is equal to 4600 multiplied by 40 divided by 100 right 4600 into 40 is equal to 100 into x so x is equal to 4600 into 40 divided by 100 we are moving 100 to the right words x is 1840 so the standard quantity for alpha is 1840 we get this 1840 now into beta calculation of beta calculation of beta to produce 100 kilograms of omega the standard plan was to use 60 60 kilogram of beta okay we actually produce 4600 kilogram of omega and then how much should be how much quantity of beta should be used for this should be used not actually used how much quantity should be used as per our plan as per the standard how much again do the same cross multiplication thing here x is equal to is equal to 4600 into 60 divided by 100 how much is that x is 2760 which means standard quantity for actual production the standard quantity of beta is 2760 kilograms right kgs okay right kgs here also right kgs so 1840 2760 let's just write it here the alpha that we will be using is 1840 and 2760 of beta now we have to find out gamma what in case of gamma the third case is gamma to produce 100 kilogram of omega we use 20 kilogram of gamma so to produce 4600 kilogram of omega how much of gamma should we use again calculating x x is equal to equal to 4600 into 20 divided by 100 the answer is 920 the standard quantity of gamma is given it is 920 okay so we have identified all the standard quantities this is the only challenging part in this particular requirement to identify sq sq is not this which one 40 60 and 20 this is not the sq sq is i am repeating again sq is standard quantity for actual production so this is sq now we have to calculate aq okay so actual quantity aq is actual quantity used for actual production aq is actual quantity that we used for actually producing 4600 kilogram of omega that has directly been given here right alpha beta gamma the materials used are 2200 2500 and 920 so simply writing this 2200 2500 and and 920 920 okay so if there is any difference between sq and aq there occurs there is a presence of difference there is a presence of variance see there is a difference here is it is different and for gamma there is no different so for gamma there is no usage variance okay now we have to write down sps so sp standard price standard price is given which is 251 the price we budgeted 2 5 and 1 
okay now we are going to calculate usage variance we have the formula here right we have the formula here sq minus aq into sp so sq minus aq multiplied by sp sp is dollar 2 it is 720 negative 720 negative okay is it adverse or favorable since it is negative we can say that it is adverse but more than that we should always check out this standard quantity like our plan was to use 1840 of material our plan was to use 1840 of material but actually we have to use 2200 kilo we use more we use much more than we planned so we use more ingredients so more ingredients cost more okay so therefore the usage variance is totally an adverse variance this is an adverse variance negative 720 this is the material usage variance for alpha okay if you're done by this still we will be getting uh, one marks okay now into beta again just copy paste we get beta why because see the four we, we, we have input some formulas here it gets auto copied here okay is equal to b51 minus lc51 b51 that is sq minus aq into 5 which is 1300 since it is positive we can write here it has a favorable variance the variance here is favorable but more than that we should check out standard quantity our plan was to use 2760 kilogram of beta but we only use just 2500 we use less materials than we expected okay therefore we get a favorable variance and finally into gamma there is no change 920 minus 920 into 1 therefore 0 into 1 it is 0 let's just copy and paste the cell it is 0 so not favorable not adverse it's just the same what we planned is 920 what we actually got is 920 but we actually use this also 920 okay so there is no variance okay so we identified individual variances for each product each ingredient material usage for each ingredient and to identify total material usage variance right so in total just take the sum of all this so in total the material usage variance is 580 so writing it here the material usage variance is equal to material sorry material usage variance variance equal to 580 favorable or adverse obviously it is favorable because it is positive because it is positive so these are the answers 720 adverse uh, 1300 favorable in case of beta 04 gamma and in total 580 favorable for material okay ignore the spelling mistake here material material usage variance okay i hope you are thorough with this topic it's easy to find out material usage variances we get the entire four marks by doing this now let's move into the next requirement thank you